This young Mojave is pretty stuck in this trap. It's right there. Let me turn him loose though. Get him all cleaned up and hopefully get him out back where he belongs. You probably just saw that clip. Um, I am currently heading back. I work for AHA, the Arizona Herpetological Association. I go out, remove snakes from people's yards, but since it is winter, only a few days till Christmas, guys. That's crazy. Um, we actually got a snake hole. The snake holes that we do get in the winter, it's uh, snakes that are hibernating in sheds, garages, and in this case, the snake was in the garage and uh, got stuck in the glue trap. He's been here for a few days, the lady said. She thought it was dead, and then she went to go scoop it, and it started rattling, and uh, the snake was alive. So uh, we are actually uh, taking it back to the house, and I'm going to try to remove it from the trap. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that safely uh, for you and the snake. Uh, I don't even have to be hands-on with the animal. I'm going to get all the glue cleaned up off of him and um, uh, hopefully get him fattened up. He's really skinny, so we're going to have to hold on to him for a few days. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to put him back out there as soon as possible. This poor little guy got stuck in the trap. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. And uh, it should be a fun video. Um, super sad for the snake, but... Props to the lady for uh, giving us a call, and we're going to help this snake out the best we can. Alright guys, well I guess I should say welcome back to another video of Catch It. Today we're going to be saving the life of a rattlesnake. Unfortunately, a lot of people kill the snakes when they're in scenarios like this, but today I'm going to be showing you exactly how to save the snake. So, I have my uh, snake hook here, my little mini snake hook, a tub, which I'm going to put the snake in while we're moving the trap. I have a syringe and some baby oil, which I'm using to free, to free the snake. You can also use non-stick spray and lightly spray the snake to help it get off the sticky trap. I'm going to open this. Look how this is danger. <laughs> We're going to open this. As you can see, you can actually see the Mojave rattlesnake in there. At the moment, he's no threat to me because he is actually stuck in this uh, trap. But of course, I'm going to take precautions as if he was a threat to me. So I am using my hook, even though I could probably just reach in and grab the trap. I'm going to uh, be extra careful here. His bottom jaw is actually stuck onto... Oof. This crap, now my hook's stuck. I didn't think this through. Okay, well, now with my hook stuck, I don't know what to do. All right, got my hook free. Now we're going to um, open this trap. We gotta open this little flap here, and I'm not gonna be using my fingers, as you guys can probably guess why. I need to get some pliers real quick. I got some like random tools from the toolbox here, and I'm gonna use it to uh, actually get the snake out. All right. All right, so hopefully that's a little bit better of a view. Um, I want to grab here, and I obviously want to grab here. I basically just want to tear this. Okay. I don't want to get him any more stuck than he is, but as you can see, his jaw is actually stuck here. Stuck to the trap. Okay, so I'm actually going to bring this camera over here so you can get a better view at this on how horrific this is how sad it actually is. All right, I'm gonna bring this camera over here. So as you can see here, he is actually stuck. He's still flicking his tongue and stuff. As you can see, he's very malnourished, very unhealthy. He's been sitting here for quite a while. I don't know if that's because he's been stuck in the trap for this long or if he just didn't have um, food before he went into hibernation. So if he's a little skinny, but we're going to get this baby oil here. And I'm gonna fill the syringe with it so I'm not like totally drenching him and I'm just gonna get the sticky parts and uh, let time do its thing and uh, hopefully that'll work out here. Alright so now we're gonna start the process here of letting this snake free. Um, what I'm gonna do, I don't know if you guys can see this on the GoPro, got some baby oil, already got a hole in here. And I'm basically just gonna flip this upside down. Alright so that didn't work actually. Okay, so we got some baby oil. I guess we'll start here. I'm getting him free. At least slowly yet surely he'll become loose. Okay, I moved the camera a little bit closer here. So I actually have a hole in the top of here, so I'm actually just gonna start pouring it on him. Small amounts. Because I wanna be careful. 
careful not to like drown him in this stuff, obviously. And I could just leave it here, but I want to help him out a little bit, so I'm actually gonna get his get this hook, obviously, because I want to keep my distance, but kind of get him to start thinking about tugging away. I don't want to hurt him, but I just kind of want to get this uh, oil to start doing its job. <laughs> Man, this is a mess. Even though he is totally stuck, I'm very, very, very unlikely to strike right after this event because he's going to be sticky even after he is free. I still want to uh, keep my distance from him because he is still... Oh, there he is. Yeah, the pliers are stuck, but his head is free now, so I kind of have to be more careful. Apply some more oil there. All right, this is going good, though. He is uh, freeing himself, and my hook is stuck again. He's like, wow, I can move now. His jaw is still going to be kind of stuck, so I'm going to need to uh, keep the oil on him for a bit to kind of uh, fight away that stickiness. All right, so as we can see here, he is starting to free himself. He is still stuck in the trap, unfortunately, but he will become free here in a second. But I wanted you to see how he is starting to move his head around now. Um, as you can see, this is the last part I need to apply some uh, oil, which I'm going to do right now. Apply some more oil. More baby oil right there. And after doing that, I want to get the hook and just kind of gently, I'm not doing it hard, gently tickling him so he kind of starts to tug a little bit. I don't want him to tear any of his skin, so I obviously want to be careful here. But as you can see, he's becoming more and more free. He just wants to get out of here. Hey, no, stay in the, stay in the. I don't want him to get any more stuck because that would suck. Hey, that rhymed. <laughs> And haha, -ha, success, look at that. The trap is successfully off of the snake. Look at that. I gotta say that's pretty rewarding. I'm glad to see that he's free from this trap. He is still incredibly, incredibly sticky. Um, so I want to keep applying small bits of oil on him so he's not sticking to himself. But uh, he's doing really good. I've got the GoPro all hooked up to that. So hopefully he's doing good. But. As you can see, the baby oil did work. He is pretty much free from his uh, trap. So he's doing really good. His face is still really sticky. His eye is pretty messed up. Like he's been tugging at it and his eye was stuck to the trap. So I now want to get some water. I want to rinse this out after he soaks in the oil a little bit longer. I don't want him to like soak in it forever, but I want to get the rest of that remaining uh, sticky stuff off. He's I obviously need to be careful. He is a venomous reptile. I need to keep my fingers far away from him. Treat him just like I would in the wild because he is a wild animal and he is still packed full of venom. All right, so I'm going to put this lid on for my safety. Keep this guy safe here. I'm gonna put the lid there. And I know you guys might be calling me a baby for not using my fingers just to put the lid on for heaven's sake, but you know what? I choose to live choose to be as careful as I need to be, even if it's over-exaggerated, better safe than sorry. He was stuck right there, and his face was stuck to the side. All right, so it's been about five minutes where he's been in the oil, so I think he should be good. I'm obviously not gonna bring him inside, you know, because I'll be the one in the trap, because my mom will kill me. And I'm gonna gently rinse him off here. Don't worry, I'm not throwing him away. But I'm going to bring him to the front yard to the hose here. I want to keep my distance from him too. I'm going to place him right here. And I'm going to get him all rinsed off. I'm actually going to get him out while I rinse him. So he's not sticking to the concrete really, so that's good. I have very gently turned on the hose. He's trying to rattle, but he can't currently. And I'm just rinsing him off, getting all that extra sticky off of him and the oil. He's very thirsty. I can already see he's starting to drink, but I actually don't want him drinking that right now because of the oil. So I'm just going to continue rinsing him off in the grass. Bring him over to this water. Let him soak in it. And he's probably going to drink it too. Hey little guy. Get a drink. Maybe I'll start drinking it if I start dumping more on him. 
There he goes, he's drinking it now. You can actually see his cheeks moving. He's drinking some water. This snake is obviously gonna get defensive. We're big, we're scary, and we're in its face. As long as I keep my distance from him, he should, uh, he should be pretty chill, but hopefully he's getting the idea that I'm trying to help him out here. You can see he's actually moving his cheeks like that. That's because he's drinking. That cute little guy. This guy's doing a lot better. He is uh, soaking in some water right now. He's got his tongue flicking. He's curious. He wants to know what's going on. He was just stuck in a trap for days. And now he is finally freed from his little trap. Well, it was a crazy day. We were running all over the place. But thankfully, we were able to save this innocent little guy. He was stuck in the garage of someone's house. And now he is safe and will be released back into the wild. If you want to see a part two of us releasing this guy and all the updates, be sure to go to my Instagram, JB underscore Martino. And if you want a part two on this video, get this video up to 50 likes and we will do just that. Does that sound about right, bud? He said yes. Yeah. But, uh, um, yeah, if you want a part two, get this video up to 50 likes. If you are new, be sure to subscribe. We post as often as we possibly can. And, yeah, and if you're new, feel free to subscribe. Leave a like on this video, and uh, we'll see you next time. It's been a lot of fun. Good to know this guy's safe. All right, see you later, guys.